Hello friends. Welcome to my new spring programming tutorial series video. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss, how to create a simple hello world example in spring. Moving ahead. Friends. In order to create a simple hello world example in spring. We have to perform below steps as. Step 1, create simple spring bean class, hello world. Step 2, create spring bean configuration file, beans xml. Step 3, create a test class, hello world test. Step 4, run the hello world test class. Let's move ahead and discuss above steps in great detail. First let's create hello world spring bean. Let's discuss code point by point. Number 1, create a package into which hello world bean is placed. In our case, it's com.hubberspot.spring. Moving ahead. Number 2, create a public class by name hello world. This class will be our spring bean class for the example. Moving ahead. Number 3, create a string instance variable into hello world bean. Let's say name of string variable is message. This variable will hold message, which we want to display on the console through spring. Moving ahead. Number 4, create getters and setters for the string message instance variable. Moving ahead. Number 5, create a method display message in the hello world bean. This method when called will print. Value hold by the message variable on the Java console. Moving ahead. Let's create spring configuration file by name beans.xml. Let's discuss spring configuration file point by point. In order to provide information to spring container, about the bean hello world and other beans. We create the spring configuration file. Number 1, this configuration file has beans tag. This tag holds all the definition for the spring beans. Beans tag has a child tag by name bean. This tag provides information to spring container about each individual bean. Let's say we provide bean definition for hello world. Bean tag has few attributes which provide information about the hello world bean. It has id attribute, whose value is hello world. The id of spring bean should be unique throughout the spring configuration file. Moving ahead. Numerb 2, let's associate a class with this unique hello world id. There is a class attribute to provide the fully qualified class name. In our case, fully qualified class name for hello world bean is com.hubberspot.spring.hello world. Spring container will be responsible to instantiate and control this bean. Moving ahead. Number 3, in our previous slide, we created a hello world bean, which has an instance variable say string message. When we want spring to instantiate the hello world bean for us, we have to provide values for the instance variable it holds. In our case bean tag has a property tag, this tag has name and value as attribute. Name attribute takes in the name of instance variable, in our case it's message. This name is exactly same as the hello world bean message property. Value attribute takes in the value for the property. In our case, Say we provide value for message property as hello spring. When spring is requested for the hello world bean. Spring instantiates hello world bean and does setter injection with the message property as hello spring, by calling setter for message property. Moving ahead. Let's create a hello world test class to demonstrate our simple spring hello world example. Let's discuss code point by point. Number 1. Application context is a spring interface which creates the bean as per configurations provided by beans.xml file. It provides us with all the methods that bean factory provides. It loads the file resources in an older and generic manner. It helps us to publish events to the listener registered to it. It also provides quick support for internationalization. It provides us with the object requested, it reads the configuration file and provides us with the necessary object required. We are using concrete implementation of application context here called as class path XML application context because this bean factory reads the XML file placed in the class path of our application. 
we provide class path XML application context with a configuration file called as beans.xml placed at class path of our application. Moving ahead. Number 2, in order to get an object instantiated for a particular bean, we call get bean method of class path XML application context passing it the ID, for which the object is to be needed. In our case, we want object of class hello world bean. Thus, we provide the ID for hello world bean class as, hello world. This ID has to match with the ID which we provided in beans.xml file. Here get bean returns an object. We need to cast it back to the hello world object. Without implementing new keyword we have got object of hello world, just by reading an xml configuration file. Moving ahead. Number 3, after getting instance for hello world bean, let's call its display message method. As discussed above, display message prints the message value on the console. In the configuration file, we provided message value as hello spring. So upon running of the program it should print hello spring on the console. Moving ahead. Let's run the test class. In the console we see hello spring gets printed, as shown in the figure. Moving ahead. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, Spring Hello World example gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.